All right, initial reactions to the Jackery Explorer 1000. Um, very impressed. As you can see from the previous videos of me testing a whole bunch of shit, everything I throw at it has worked fine. No problems at all. They say it's about 20 pounds. Feels a little heavier to me. I believe them, whatever. Um, what you get is two inputs, three outputs for the AC, two USB type A and two USB type C, 12 volt. These little switches here turn on the DC portion. This turns on the AC portion. You'll notice that with nothing plugged in, it will draw some wattage, three watts continuously. So you're killing your battery just leaving the inverter on if you're not using it, okay? That's normal. There's efficiency in the actual inverter itself. There are cooling fans on both sides. Um, you can't really see them, but you can hear it when you first turn it on. Ready, one. And obviously they stay on as you need them with the power draw. The brick that it comes with, I have the plastic still on it, is a 20, 24 volt, 7.5 amps, 180 watts. And it terminates with a eight millimeter connector center pin. What you'll see is the polarity. This is the negative. The inside of the actual barrel is the positive. And I don't think the pin is being used or it's some sort of data signal. So you can't, you know, short it out by accident. Same exact, it looks almost identical to the um, Yeti 400, which I'll show you. When you plug this in, There you go. You'll see it start to climb up. It'll hover around 160 watts. So some inefficiency, 160, 100, and, yeah, how about 160 watts? And I can turn this off, it'll charge a little faster because I'm not drawing. You can draw and charge at the same time, but remember the, the max you can put in is 161. Um, let me show you the comparison here. This here is the Yeti 400. It's smaller, it's lighter, but on the other hand, it's only 400 watts. And 400 watts would not run anything that I've shown you in the previous videos. Um, they have two outlets, you know, and it does again take a look, they take higher, you know, five watts. I just was using three for just the inverter efficiency. Um, input, output, same thing. Two outlets, three outlets. Uh, 12 volt, 12 volt. Not regulated. This is a big thing, regulated. Your fridge, 12 volt fridge, once regulated. This varies depending on the voltage itself. This one has built-in. In fact, you can buy a device that you plug into here and it will regulate. It's this huge thing you hook up and it, it's stupid. PVM MPPT charger. Um, I could blow this up. Input. Yeah, it doesn't like that. <laughs> yeah, Jackery doesn't like that. I was thinking that the two are compatible, but they're not. Negative light. Okay, it's back up and charging. Um. Gold Zero is an American company, you know, I have to admit, th these are very expensive, um, they're very well built, but I think that the China, Chinese are a little ahead on this one. This company is founded by an Apple, ex-Apple engineer, um, but they're making everything in China. Um, this little device here, I used to use here, basically give me a couple extra USB ports. This one has three, this one has two. So, uh, and this does not have USB-C, this one has two USB-Cs. This one's a little more ready for the future because of the USB-C. We'll charge a MacBook, we'll charge a Surface Go, we'll charge an iPad Pro, all that stuff. So, that's the difference between the two of them. Um, I think this has fans too, but I never really got it up high enough in order for it to actually kick in and really draw anything because 400 watts is not a lot, couldn't power anything. You can power small things. 
Um, I like it. I'm keeping it. I was going to get the um, energy, I N E R G Y. Um, what's it? Flex 1500, which is a 1500 watt inverter with a 3000 watt surge, where this is a 1000 watt inverter with a 2000 watt surge. And the difference is that the energy, I N E R G Y, flex system, you buy batteries. You can buy tons and tons of batteries and stick a hundred of them, stack them all together. You can buy charge controllers and they just clip together. It's all modular and everything. Weighed about the same. It was made out of plastic. It was made out of metal, not plastic. And I put the deposit down. And I was waiting. It was supposed to be delivered by October. Well, due to the cells, you know, the 18650s that all these are made up out of, um, they weren't going to be able to do delivery till January. So I canceled my order, you know, and it was more money too. Canceled my order and I ordered the Jackery when it went on sale, which is good. Um, it just went on sale and went off sale. You guys missed it already. I'm not trying to promote this or give anybody any links or anything like that. It's back up to full price again, guys. They probably sold their entire stock because it was before Prime Day too. So they put it on sale before Prime Day. It was a day and it went back up again. And I snagged it right before it went back up. I want this specifically for preparedness. Shit breaks out, you know, um, riots, power outages. I live down here in, in Florida. Hurricanes, whatever it is. I know that I can power my freezer. I can power my electronics. I can power... I, I, my next thing would be this thing. This fridge full size um, I have no reason why it shouldn't work but I'll try that one time too the freezer is more important to me because I got more food in there um, but this is exactly what I needed and it'll be charged by the Honda EU 2000 during the day and then during the night or whatever or solar and during the night you run it nobody knows you have it everybody else is sitting there in the dark and you're fine you know it's a great idea. Um, the energy, if you had purchased it, was four hundred dollars more. They were going to give a ten-year warranty on the battery. They would just no hassle, just replace it, and maybe a th I think it was a three-year warranty instead of a two-year warranty. The Jackery is only two years, whereas the energy was three years. But they didn't have the product ready to ship. You know, so obviously, better if money's no object, and you don't mind waiting. Get the Energy Flex 1500. You can buy more batteries. You can buy a DC unit. You can buy more solar chargers. You can hook up 500 watts of solar ch panel charging. Um, the Jacker is just a jack of one tray, basically. You know, it's more of a portable power system, not meant to be used as to power your whole home, you know, in, in, a, in a solar generator type system, but extremely good for emergency preparedness. So that's it. I'm going to let this charge. The only other thing is uh, they have a case and I didn't want to spend the money. So I got this cheap ass Ozark trail 36 can cooler this is from Walmart. It came with a plastic insert, but I'm thinking, yeah. See if I can make this. Yeah, it's not a perfect fit, but at least it'll protect it from getting dinged up and everything. Plus, you can put shit in here. You can put the, you know, charger cables and stuff like that. So, what's included with the box on this is obviously the AC adapter, Jackery, you know, user manual, and they do come with a splitter, so you can hook up two eight millimeters solar panels because they sell 100 watt panels. Uh, what you guys are going to see in the next coming days is... Yeah. I'm not buying the Jackery's shit for power. Let me show you this. That's the Bug Out 120. No longer made. It's a military grade Overland Solar uh, flexible Velcro here. 
flexible panel. Hang on. And it unfolds. That's my backup, total backup power here. But we don't have a sunny day right now, so I'm not going to do it. I'm curious to know how much power I'll get out of it. I'm guessing about 114 watts. But whatever, that's total emergency use only. Most of the time you're going to be charged from the brick. So, so that's it. Uh, highly recommend it. If you can get it on special, it was $200 off at one point, then $100 off at another point, and um, now it's back up to full price. There's a flashlight in the front of the crap. I mean, it's useful. Lights go out. People are bitching about a flashlight, really. It helps. Everything else is not costing anything. Shut up. But uh, excellent for camping. I wish I had had this for my last camping trip because I would have bought the damn espresso machine <laughs> instead of buying cans of stuff. You know, I could basically... I took this one camping and I had everything plugged into it in the trunk. Charged all the Apple Watches and iPads and phones and everything. USB fan was running off of it. And that's cool. This is better. Bigger, but better. You get what you pay for. Um, so look out for my other review coming up. I still got to upload all this shit to YouTube because I just took a ton of videos one after another. I also will show one video, which this is the Iceco 20. This is running off my car battery, which is a deep cycle marine. And this is a 12 volt fridge. This will easily run off the Jackery. No problem. Days and days and days. Because just just 70 watts intermittent power. It's amazing. It's a freezer and it's a, a fridge. Depending on when you put the partition in there. You put a partition in there, that's the freezer, that's the fridge. You can literally put ice cream in it. Leave it in your car, turn it on, come, go, go to work, come back out. The ice cream's still solid. I don't use the freezer much though. This was a good deal when I got it. It's back up to full price. Everything's going up. It's probably because of the election and God knows what the hell's going to happen. But, uh, yeah. We got from my uh, videos with the solar panel. I'll do another one. You can see with the fridge. You know, the only thing I do like a lot about the Yeti, or should I say the Goal Zero Yetis, is they give you one thing that Jackery doesn't. And that is display will show you how many hours until empty and if you let's say plug something in now we're drawing 180 watts focus oh it actually kicked in the fan hey. 200 watts so this will run for four hours it's a 400 watt I think it's 400, 400 watt inverter, it's like 400 and something, 470, something around 400 watt hour batteries, that's a thousand. So you're going to get more. Hey, shit, that's nothing, man. I'm using one lithium charger to charge another one. This is good for a CPAP machine or just powering small devices and shit, but you're not going to be cooking on it. Not in any way. All right, like I said, sorry for taking up so much time. But that's the main review of the Jackery Explorer 1000. Unpaid. I paid for this shit with my own money. Okay? So these fuckers better send me some stuff. If you want review Jackery, send me some stuff. Send me a Jackery 2000. Send me a Jackery 5000. I'll put it to the test. I'll tell you the truth or not. I'll tell you what's wrong with it. So far, I see nothing wrong with this. This is really a very well-made device.